Yo, 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 take the studio back at it. Hmm. Let's see how far we get this, this little episode. Well, I bet you there's a lucky emblem here. Hey, is that like a hint? To look? Cheese! Yeah! I want to find that episode looking for this one. Why? Why, Goofy? Let me be. I see that shit. If not, I'm not gonna go out of my way. This 
stable rate charge when MP runs out. Only cure magic and link commands will trigger a recharge. Fuck it out of Finish command when the situation commands timer runs out in combat. Mm, I'll go with the air combo. Next, you have one. Yeah. You also have one. That's nice to like, increase all the enemy drop items. Yes, I want that. I got the four. Hmm. 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 Okay, for now. Cause my money is. Find the next one.
It was you laddies who rescued my <laughs> chef. I can't go strong. Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm, Kate, what is it? No. Wow! Cake! Hmm? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town. Aye. It all started a little while ago, when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kind of like a scavenger this hunt. And the more the We're better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. Now, speaking of Little Chef... Wait, hold on. So Little Chef Bistro, you can... I mean, you can transform the ingredients you get into delicious meals. You need to show you a of beneficial effects, like temporary stuff you can see. The recipe is available at the base with the pan and ingredients you can do. So be sure to start. Eat well, you bring it. For the makings of new and powerful recipes. Yeah, speaking of little chef. I haven't met any Final Fantasy characters. Yeah. And that's why I like this game so more of the series at most. For the final fantasy characters. So I'm curious to see who the first I mean. My guess is that it's gonna be me on. But who knows? I wonder if they have some. Go 
on, lads. You need to scrounge up some ingredient. Guess we're still short. Let's keep searching. Oh, you mean right now? Chef needs more ingredients. We better keep an eye out. Yes. Yes. We can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. Yeah. Yeah. Chef still needs our help. I kind of like how they put the emphasis of talking about the same place. Throwback. Just imagine the yummy stuff little Chef will whip up with this. Oh, wait. Can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. Hmm. Whatever shall we do? Yeah.
Hey! Guys! Huh? Oh. Painter! Olette! No pants? Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hi! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. A promo game? You can add this at the Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Of course, she sure is really. canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> oh. oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. It's a job! But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna <laughs> slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. For Pence. Maybe he has a difference of opinion. The twins. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case, we'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. That voice sounds so familiar. Obtain Giant Land, a classic kingdom, kingdom game. You can play it on the gummy phone. Don't mind if I do. Select the Crafting Kingdom from the Gummy Phone menu to access the game selection screen. Press Triangle to view the controls for the current release of the game. To exit the game, press Options to pause the game. And select Exit to return to the game selection screen. Shooting Star! A game blade with an emphasis on magic form changes double arrow guns. Magic Launcher. I totally want to use that. We brought some ingredients. Is the food ready yet? Huh? Hmm? Mm -hmm. 
He hasn't started? Huh? Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hey, hey. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Would you... You're gonna make me cook? Oh, no. Flambe. Tilt L in a circle to pour. It needs to be just the right amount. Once you think you're ready, tilt R to flambe. Ah, yeah. uh, I didn't read the next one. Oh well. Uh, oh. oh, come on. Sorry. I'm oh, so bad. And I. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's oh. Oh. More? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's like a metaphor for my my real life cooking struggles. Not a metaphor. A representation of my real life cooking, cooking yeah. skills. Alright! Well, we you, did it! You did it for me. Sweet bread pole pole. Is that chicken? Sweet bread chicken? I like chicken. No, 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 not yet. I want more chicken. I like chicken. Chicken's my favorite of all meats. <laughs> chop the ingredients quickly and safely. Probably tilt to chop. Once you finish with the ingredients, tilt R to the next one. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. All right. This too. We did it. I was just warming up. Con con some consomme. 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 A true scholar finds clues to the future in the mistakes of his past. It almost looks like a philosophy class, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I know, so far, I feel like. 
I haven't really done much in each episode. I feel like it's, they've just been mainly cutscenes. Hope we find some ingredients around here. I wonder if this poster's got one of them promo games. Oh, where the poster at? I'm seriously craving ice cream. But before that, you remind me of what the promo games. Two weeks for oh, that's cool. Um, but I don't play that promo game. Classic Kingdom. Oh, that's a punch. Oh. Avoid the giant's attack and escape the room. Step one, use your spoons to bring out to the table. More. Okay, move the pepper shaker and press to make the giant sneeze. Press. Here's the window, make. I didn't read that properly, but okay. Action. so quiet cuz i was i was stressing what i thought i, I thought i beat it already no i'm done exit i Let's save the game. Yes. And then, uh, whenever we get to the next save point in the next. I'm world, sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yensa tell you? For the day. I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. 
I want to get out there and do my part to help. Yes. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. Huh. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's whoa, wrong, whoa, he whoa, says, whoa. I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before. And some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy. But I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. There's no heart your smile can't reach. That's a good line. I may take it. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Who else? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah. But it's okay. I just like talking to Sora. Even if it's on paper. Oh. Huh. Okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know, we did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. This poison don't eat it. What? Uh, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? But the hair... Oh! Are you okay? Lee! Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, my heart was broken. <laughs> Something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. No, right? People Fine. Some, some people apologize. On one condition. Much. What? And then other people Call me Axel from apologize. now on. Got it. Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. So you just drop the ice cream and leave it there? What a waste of perfectly good sea salt ice cream. If sea salt ice cream is a thing, I would be down to try it.
my liege. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own, hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization, the real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way. That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yep. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay. But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's cause Master Xehanort's collecting vessels! He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yep, and Merlin too. Yeah. I have been bombarded by too much information. I'm so lost. Hey, Sora. I got a tip for you. What is going on? Welcome to the world map. Terra, Aqua, Sandler. So much, so much. One day I will make the best gummy ship ever, potentially. Hey Sora, I 
your being. Have a good one.